Good afternoon everybody and a very warm welcome to Milton Hall and Districts and today is part two of the follow-on video uh, from what I've been doing over at Milton Hall Corner um, today we're looking at Borden and Gardens and um, the Trojan horse effect, the 2 and 3D effects that I was going for and time to show you um, what I've replaced the hill with and how we're getting on so I'm going to take you over to Borden and Gardens and then I'm just going to give you a quick sort of rundown as to what the objectives were and then we'll move on to the actual bits that I've been working on. So, see you on the other side. So this is Bordelon Gardens and um, basically um, I just thought I'd show you this without what I've been working on just so you can have a rough idea with nothing on it. And as you can see um, the foot, I think from the last time I've actually made the footprint of the bus depot actually bigger. Um, so this is this is now kind of like the extended version. So the bus depot is basically the central piece which will be hidden away by the town scene. And a number of you were quite interested in how I was going to approach this. So hopefully you're going to sort of like what I've been up to. Now I haven't actually finished it as yet. Um, but just a quick rundown um, as per usual. Um, I map it out with the matchsticks and basically glue the matchsticks down with PVA and let them go off and then I'll use filler which I mix with paint um, all the way through um, and then that way if it chips it's not going to chip quite underneath um, and then basically I have filled it and if I needed to do more filler um, I've added some more filler and if it doesn't if the colors don't match it doesn't particularly matter um, because what I've done is once it's all set in one big go, I've repainted it in grey. So, and then you sand it over to smooth it all out. And then any underlying textures and paints will come through. So it will kind of give you this kind of patchy effect, which is what I've done here. Um, it's not perfect, um, but then again, I don't want it to be. Um, all the sort of really bad divots and holes I've actually refilled. But any anything minor I've kind of left as is, um, as is the as per the real roads that we use today. Um, so, like I explained in the last video, um, I have been working a lot in modules and this is another particular module that I've been working on for Baden Gardens so it can be lifted out. And I've got two separate modules to show you and you've got one big bit and then one smaller bit um, and then hopefully you'll understand what I've been up to. So let me show you the real big bit that I've been working on. So I'm going to sort of lift it like this so you can sort of see what it's like. It's quite a big bit, but it's very light. And this forms the shape of the um, bus station. Like I said, I haven't actually finished this yet. And, or well, the bus depot, I should say. So if we start at the front, uh, that's where the bus depot entrance will be. Um, and then I've been using the town scene um, sheets. Um, to do a wrap round. Um, some of this round the corner here is 2D and that's because it's really really tight um, and so obviously doing it as a 3D relief um, it's just going to be you won't be able to do it because the card's thickness won't allow you to get around the bend so that's why I've glued these sort of houses here directly to the card and then it also features a bus stop um, this is the second bus stop that I've salvaged from Milden Hall um, and then we've got a bit of a low relief building on the end there, which is another housing, which I had from the previous sheet. Um, if I spin you around even further, it goes into the town scene, which is the shops. You've got boots in the corner. Um, we've got Burton's and then there's another sort of local lofty and stuff like that. And then if I spin you even further, um, this front piece here, um, was when I messed up the building over at Milden Hall, I used this and over there and I didn't couldn't get on with it and so what happened was is I basically cut it out and that's what's kind of giving you this kind of relief I don't know if you can see it there's a little it's just a little bit of relief not too much and basically I had to try and work the rest of these buildings into this kind of um, portion um, because I was running out of space and running out of buildings so I had to sort of try and get it all to fit with what I had. And this has worked out really, really well. 
I've also done some paving. Um, this is my own paving. This isn't Metcalf paving. I know you can buy Metcalf paving, but this is basically um, off cuts of mount boards, which I've just cut in and glued individually. So you can see that. And then you've got, like I said, you've got this bit here. Now the inside, as you can see, I haven't actually touched yet and that would be my next sort of job. But this is basically um, slots into that space and I'll show it to you back on the layout shortly. But I I'm really pleased with this. I think it's come out really, really well. Now, at this particular point, I should add that I've just done a cab video, um, a cab ride video with my class 50, which is why it was on the screenshot. And I haven't actually, at this very point in time that I'm telling you this, I haven't actually um, seen the footage off of it. So I haven't actually edited it or anything like that at this point. So I'm quite looking forward to seeing what that footage has to offer. But I believe it's going to be, uh, it's much better than what I had going on before. So like I said, so this is the front where the bus station um, entrance is going to be. And what I've done is I've made a start on this smaller module. And this is the fascia for the um, for the bus station, or the, oh, sorry, for the bus depot, I should say. I keep saying bus station, it's a bus depot. Um, I've made a start. I had some corrugated sheeting that I come across um, in my spares box. So I had two pieces, luckily, and that was enough to kind of create this kind of effect. Um, I'm waiting on some more materials, which I'll be getting on early on in next week, which is the super quick red brick effect paper. Um, I was going to use the Metcalf that I have, but I'm not really too sure A, if I've got enough and B, whether it's kind of appropriate for this kind of area, because it kind of seems like the, the super quick, I think, will work better. And so I'll be lining this with a super quick paper and also the interior of the um, of the actual bus depot in it. So when you look in, you won't be actually seeing all the grey that there is currently in there. And um, basically what this does is I... I I've got this option here and I'm just going to actually, I'm going to just spin the camera around so bear with me a minute. So hopefully in this view you can kind of see the kind of outline of what it's like inside. So you'll see the bus step on here. So what I'm going to do is going to line the brick paper. You see this line here that we've got all the way around. That's an even line all the way around. And that is the height of the actual um, bus step -o. And the rest, I can either cover it over or I can leave it. Now I'm going to see how the sunlight kind of penetrates that to see what kind of effects I get out of that. But going back to the fascia here, um, what I've done is I cut this this front piece here at the same angle as this um, to give me um, to give me a choice to adjust the front of the building because I wasn't sure and I'm still not sure um, how far out that this fascia is going to go. So basically, it just slots in. Now I could sort of have it right at the front um, and if I don't like it but because what I've done is I've allowed enough sort of corrugated iron at the back here that I can pull it right to the front and you still won't see it but if I don't like it and I want to pull it back then I've got the option to just sort of recess it and see how I think what I think it's going to look like so I've kind of allowed for that so I can still got time to sort of play with the front and sort of see whether I want it out towards the front or whether I want to recess it a bit more um, I'm also going to be looking at probably getting another sheet from town scene for the roof because I think they've got a rooftop scene so I might try and do that there to give it that kind of distant perspective kind of view. So this whole thing is kind of like a 2 and a 3D effect so obviously we've got the main 3D building here at the front which has got the water depths so that's the main building that I've picked out and then we've got some slightly if I spin it around I don't know if it'll show the relief but you can probably see that there is some relief here in the buildings that it's not directly attached to the sky and as I spin you around that one isn't either relief that one that's a 2d one and that's so I can marry it up with this building um, so I can get it to fit into this corner here and as you can see that like, these buildings here are also slightly relieved um, and then on the back you can see that this one here the this front piece is slightly relieved but not the houses because of the fact that this is such a tight curve um, so I wouldn't be able to curve it if I relieved it in such a tight manner. But I think it will give the impression and give the effect that I want. But like I said at the moment, I currently haven't actually seen the footage off the cam truck as of yet as we speak. And like I said, I've added this little bus stop and bus stop area. So I'm just going to put this all on the layout and then so you can actually have a look and see for yourselves what it looks like on the layout. 
So I've now put Wilder Lynn Gardens town scene module into its slot. So this is how it kind of looks at the moment. And just to sort of get you, give you your bearings, it's that's behind there, behind on the left, is Bodden and Garden Station. Now, I actually really like this view. And like I said, once I put all the road markings down and everything, I think it will look really good. I'm going to be putting some fencing along here. I'm not sure whether to go with security fencing or the type of fencing that I've got going on down the end. The thing is, with that fencing down the end, is I like it very much, but the thing is, when the cam truck comes around, I'm not sure how much of it is going to pick up. Whereas with the railings, there's that kind of see-through element of the railings, and I think that will look quite nice. So I'm not quite sure what, what to do with that, whether I'm going to go with that or not. So if I spin you into towards the station, you can kind of see how it kind of works. And if I, like I said, I'll try and cut this, if you try and cut the sky out, um, I think it looks quite convincing, to be honest. So let me take you around the other side and I'll show you more from the other side. So this is around the other side. And as you can see, the bus station just over there. And then we've got the main railway station just over here for Bethlehem Gardens. And here is the front of the bus depot. Now, I had, like I said, I left this deliberately out just so I can show you me putting it in and then sort of take a view of what it might look like either towards the front or whether or not I recess it. So I'm not sure whether it will go kind of like that, which I quite like. Um, but I also quite like the idea of it being recessed as well. So I might just sort of recess it back a little bit. And it might go like that. So I'm not quite sure yet. I haven't really kind of decided how that's going to pan out yet. Because I quite like the idea of the buses just kind of poking their nose out of, out of it all. Um, so let's just, I'm going to take you off the tripod for a moment and I'm going to show you inside. So this is the view from the platform. And um, I quite like this idea that the buses, you've got the preserved buses at the back just parked up out of the way. So, and then I've got the main buses, just one here. And I just moved the other one out of the way just so you can sort of, but you look at it from here, you can see the kind of depth that you get. So once that's all painted up inside, um, I think it's going to look really, really nice. I know you probably won't really see it, but I think occasionally you can do a camera shot and I think it will look quite good. Um, I'll try and see if I can take you out around the corner, it's a bit tricky. And that's it from around the corner. So I don't think overall it looks too bad. So this is from the other side. So I actually think it looks really good, good actually. I'm really much more happier with this arrangement than with the hill. The hill just wasn't really working out for me. So that's how that looks so far. So thank you for joining me on this video today. Um, I know this one's a bit longer than yesterday's one, um, but obviously there's a bit more to show you this time around. Uh, so I'm now going to leave you with a cab ride um, of my Class 50 and hopefully it will come out really, really well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, but if not, um, hopefully the video will sort of just give you a flavour and do some justice as to what I've been up to. But it's definitely much better than the hill arrangement that I had, and I'm really impressed with the way it's come out. And um, like I said, I've still got the insides to do, and I've also got the um, building to line as well, the fascia to line up. And I've also got to do the doors as well for the bus depot. So until the next time, it's goodbye from Mildenhall and enjoy the cab ride around Mildenhall and districts. So bye for now. Bye.